got, hey guys, we're back with another episode of Taco Imposters for, what is it, July 12th, is it today? 11th, 2020. So yeah, um, we're back here with another episode, and yeah, so what's happened in my life? Um, I just picked up a PC, so I don't know if you can see it, right? That PC right there, maybe you can, I don't even know if you can. Let's go. Anyway, on the desk there's a PC. And, I don't know if it's charging now, the phone, the thing. But anyway, it should be. I don't know if it is. I probably shouldn't have disconnected, but anyway. I might tell me if it's charging. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I got that PC, because I was realizing, I can learn how to do things with a PC in terms of, like, you know, game, stream, make videos, YouTube videos, edit videos. Um, and, the most important thing, is mine cryptocurrency. So what's running right there, I don't know if you saw it, it's something cool, because on Reddit, I went to the cryptocurrency, or I went to Ethereum, because I asked my friend, I asked my friend, what are you doing with your life? And he went, I'm mining cryptocurrency right now. And I went, mining cryptocurrency? You can do that? And he's like, yeah. I said, what are you mining? And he goes, Ethereum. I go, no Bitcoin? He goes, China owns Bitcoin. I went, no, you, no, they don't. And what he meant by that was, China mines so much Bitcoin that there's no profit in mining Bitcoin. And I went, okay, I understand that. And then I asked a guy, or the, the Ethereum subreddit, and one guy came up with, Install something called Kudo, C-U-D-O, and basically, all you have to do there is... Wow. Is, um... All you have to do there is install it, and it basically, um... It accesses your hardware. So it, it, it takes... It, 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 it looks at your hardware and says, Okay, this is the most profitable coin you can mine right now with the hardware you have. Which is... Which for me is... A, 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 um, AMD 32200, um, integrated graphics on a, uh, uh, CPU, which is fine for now, that's what Noah said, my friend Noah, this is the guy who, who uh, told me to get the stuff, he's like, that's what he said, my friend said, just do this for now, and if you need a graphics card, you can upgrade to, like, a 50 or $60 graphics card to start, and then you can get to, like, a 70 80, and they go to, like, maybe even 150 for whatever. Because I heard that it's not based on, like, hardware is not the big thing. Like, I basically said, what do I need to mine cryptocurrency? And they were just like, it, the hardware doesn't really matter. It's really software. I'm sorry if you can hear this, um, air conditioner. It's, like, a thousand degrees. I have to keep it on. I'm sorry. But, yeah. It's probably right at you, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing for the past, like, two days. Because I got it yesterday, pick, got it, it came in yesterday. I bought it, like, four days ago? Three days ago? And it came in yesterday, and I was so happy, because, but again, I didn't have the plug connected to the hard drive, so, or the power connected to the hard drive, the SATA cable connected to the hard drive, and so I was not getting power, and so the whole thing wouldn't run yesterday. And so my friend, my other friend, I asked who knows about computers, I went, what do I do? And he's like, bro, you don't have the thing connected. I'm like, oh my god. We went to an hour of, like, oh, hardware, software... Software, and then hardware, and then... Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. But yeah. So we got it finally working, and then... Now there's no sound. And I looked at the sound drivers, and they don't do jack squat. I'm like, oh, you suck. I contacted uh, uh, Microsoft, and I got disconnected. So I'm like, oh, you suck. But anyway, I have to go there. So I'm going to learn more, like, technical stuff for mining. I'm like, how do you mine Bitcoin? And the guy goes, you need special hardware. And I'm like, oh, you do. And it's basically like a... looks like a... External GPU, basically. Because it's like half the size of my monitor, my thing. Also, what I like about this uh, computer is I got the whole computer to run in the same case that I used f about 15 years ago when I when my parents bought a first, like, la uh, first computer, which was a XP, uh, a Dell XP. You know that, like, the generic Dell XP computer. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. That, that, that XP computer. It's so, like, ugh. Anyway. That's literally what happened. Like, same one. It was when, it was, okay, when the government basically told my parents, we'll give you, we'll install internet in your house. Because it was the turn of the century. My brother had just been born. He was born in 97. And at that time, when they got the house, they were like, hey, look. They got, um, internet. Like, the government basically said, the government of Quebec, I think, or maybe even Canada, I don't know, said to my parents, we'll install internet for you. Now, the internet's not going to be free, but we're going to install it for free. Like, it won't cost you much. I don't know if it cost you anything, but I, don't, I think it cost you nothing to, to do it. So really, they got free internet. So that was the same. And they bought a Dell lab, like, PC. And we ran that PC freaking to the ground. I ran that PC to the ground. I had 
I killed the hard drive on that PC. I dropped the hard drive once, and gone. It was a spinning platter hard drive, not an SSD, so I'm like, ah, oh, you suck. But which, I, I transferred everything before I, I dropped it, so which is good, right? But, I think I did it, like, last year, sometime last year. I transferred everything, so. Now, 90% of it's on my dad's computer laptop, which is fine. But, I mean, how much, I don't even know how much storage we had on that computer. I never ran out of storage on that computer. I must have had like a 256 gig or something. Or a 128 gig maybe. And I just kept... Because all it was was like files, like um, desktop, like... Or sorry, um, f uh, like, like you know, word files, like like text files, pictures. Not a lot of videos, not a lot of games, not a lot of movies, not a lot of uh, videos, not a lot of like any of that stuff. Pictures, video, uh, pictures, and uh, text files. A lot of it was that. And so... We ran that, I ran that thing straight to the ground, like, oh, God. And then I tried running it off of, like, because I know you can boot Windows 10, Windows 7 on a bootable, right? You can boot a Windows 7 on a bootable. And so basically what I did with that was I tried booting it off a bootable, but the problem with that was it, it was a 64-bit bit version of Windows that I downloaded, and they couldn't find a 32-bit version. I'm like, ah, you suck. Why do you suck? But anyway. I'm like, I gotta find a 32-bit, 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 with the processor, which was a uh, Pentium 4. Pentium 4 with, I don't even know what graphics card I have in there. But I had a graphics card in there. And actually, I can show you the whole thing. I'll show it to you some other time. But yeah, so, and I had a sound card. No, the sound card was a, was a Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster, AdLib Live. Or Sound Blaster, AdLib, Sound Blaster. Sound Blaster Live, I think. Is that right? I think so. But yeah, um, so I, 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 I ran that thing. So I'm like, can I, can I install it on there? And apparently I could have, so my dad didn't have to buy a laptop, or switch to a laptop. My, he used my brother's laptop for the longest time, for like a year and a half. It was crazy. And then, or, or about a year. Maybe a year and a half even, I don't know. But then got a uh, Windows uh, 10 laptop once Windows was like, we're shutting down, here's your whatever, 30 days to upgrade or or just full on change, or just get a whole new laptop. And at the point of, okay, that's a problem with laptops. Lap, I still tried updating his laptop to Windows 10, and they were like, they were like, they, they recommended not to do that Windows from their updater. I'm like, oh, fine. So basically, at, at the, okay, this is my opinion on laptops. Laptops are so not cheap, but they're so unupgradable that it's it makes more sense, in my opinion, to up to just completely buy a new laptop. Now, I'm talking laptops in the hundred to three hundred to five hundred dollar range. Now, if you go up to the scale, it doesn't make any sense. For me, that that computer right there makes a hell of a lot more sense. A heck of a lot more sense over there. The lap anyway, it makes so much more sense if I just stupid light that drives me nuts. Anyway, the lap so the computer over there on the desk makes more sense to me. In five years, uh, let's upgrade it to another, like, a a AMD D P uh, CPU, or another graphics card, or another motherboard, or another hard drive, or another DVD drive, like, or another SSD in five, ten years. I can't do that on a laptop. I can maybe change the, 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 the drive to a higher capacity and a SSD, and maybe I can change the RAM, if that. The problem there is, I mean, I can change, like, Wi-Fi chips and all that stuff, Wi-Fi cards, and... But again, your graphics card is outdated, done, sorry, can't do nothing about it. I can't do anything about it. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I personally love laptops. My my favorite thing is to dock a laptop. That's what I did for the longest time. I docked. I didn't dock it with a dock. I just connected it to uh, HDMI. But I did connect my... I, la I, I put my laptop on the desk, and I used it with the external monitor, with the monitor that I have connected to the computer now. And holy freaking moly, did I use that for like a year and a bit? About a, almost about a year now? <laughs> Crazy stuff, man. I ran the first like 25 episodes of the, of the podcast on that PC. Jeez, I mean, it was crazy. But yeah. And then what else did I do? Yeah, so. And then that's what I've been doing there. And I love this PC now. Well, I hate the PC, in fact, that is just slower than I would like it to be. But again, it's the first, like, 
day of using the damn thing. It's not going to be a Threadripper, you know, hundred, like a couple of thousand dollar PC, uh, CPU with, with a ten thousand dollar graphics card and whatever, five thousand dollar or a thousand dollar graphics card and like crazy specs like that. You know, fifty bajillion cores with a hundred bajillion threads and Threadripper like, like supercomputer level of stuff. But I mean, it's better than the laptop I used, definitely. The laptop couldn't boot to save my life. Like, at this point, it was, like, on its last legs of, like... The hard drive took forever to do anything. Which was scary, because I had, like, my life on that thing. Basically. Now, because if I was going to continue my whole, like, career off of the damn thing, I was like, maybe I want a better computer. So I upgraded my computer. And now I'm going to mine Bitcoin, make some money. I just need to figure out how to withdraw money from the account. Or from the... Withdraw money from the cryptocurrency software, the mining software, and that'll be good. Because I'm mining Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and I think I can I can mine a certain thing that can be converted into Bitcoin. I think. If I'm mistaken. That's what the guy told me. I talked to this guy for like three days, four days. How did this work? How do you do this? When does this work? How do this? So on and so forth. Until I got to the point where it's like, yo man, I can't tell you much more. Play around with the software now that you have it. Play around with the app now that you have it. And you'll find stuff to do. Don't worry. You'll find it. Don't worry. You'll, you'll figure it out. Don't worry. And I'm like, okay. Because he, he was so good that he explained Bitcoin or, or just cryptocurrency mining in a very simple, like, look, this is how it works. You're, okay, I'm going to explain it in a very, 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 very layman terms. Like, stupid layman terms. What I understand of it. You're a, a hash. From what he explained to me, it is it's a hash is a a hash is your computer guessing a you have a series of guesses and if they get the answer correct you get you get some money from that or or some coin from that now it's a percentage right so it'd be like saying you mine and so if you have a better computer you can you can do more like you can do a million hashes a second like but I can only do about two hundred. To 500 hashes, 700, 600, 700, 800 hashes a second. Less than a thousand hashes a second. Which is not bad. Honestly, if I make like $12 in a week, I'll be happy because I've made money, right? Without doing anything. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so a hash. So, hash, so, so it's like mining, right? And if, and so like, you're mining with a, f with a spoon, and you're trying to get out hash stuff, you only can do like three hashes, right? But if you're mining with a jackhammer or dynamite, you blow it up and you've made like a million hashes or something. You know, that, at least that's what I understand. Also, you're verifying a purchase. So when you purchase something using Bitcoin, let's let's say you verify that purchase, that purchase then becomes like you're a server. You know, okay, Visa credit cards. You swipe your credit card. It verifies whether you're allowed to make that purchase, right? And it comes back to you and say, approved, or declined, or denied. Right? So, so, in theory, the miner, so like somebody mining, becomes a server to verify the purchase of said object using either Bitcoin or, or something else, you know what I'm saying? And then you basically become the server and they go. So that's what the guy explained to me how it ran was. Don't ask me how any of the other stuff works. Pools. So, um, what was it? Yes, yeah, so that's why I understand that you're like a... Don't, okay, don't ask me about pools, and don't ask me about network whatever's configs, what, no, don't ask me any of that stuff. I think a pool is the amount of people on the same network. I'm not sure, though. The hash rate changes based on how many people are on the network, right? So, if, say, say a thousand people are using this network, then the, the hash rate goes up or down to base, to base, depending on based on how many people are using it. So, I mean, in theory, or using the network, in theory, I can make a decent amount of money. My friend makes $1,000 minus $90 for, 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 uh, electricity that he still has to pay his parents because he, 
still depend uh, dependent. That was called when you're still depending on your parents. Yeah, dependent I think or a dependable, dependent, something like that. Anyway, on that effect, yeah. So when you're one of those, then yeah, yeah. He is, so he still has to pay his parents. And he says he wants to try this at his work once he gets a job. I'm like, really? He also wants to try and get 19 GPUs, so graphics cards, running on one system. I went, 19 graphics cards? He goes, yeah. I've heard people have 12. 12 graphics cards! This guy had 6 graphics cards, right? I went, how can you, on Reddit, just something asking, how many graphics cards can you get running? I tried to get, whatever, 4 or something? I think he said he had 11 or 12, or like, I said like 6 or something. I went, how can you afford that many graphics cards? I can't afford one. I can't afford a single. He goes, I was doing it. I bought it at the peak. And I also did a lot of overtime. I'm like, God, hell yeah. No offense, but like, how the frig are you supposed to do that? Good lord. Good gosh. How did you do pay for all that? It was at the peak. And then somebody replied to that going, yeah, they make more money selling the shovel. I'm like, what do you, what? I have a question mark. And he, and he sends back, in the gold rush, right? Right, more the more uh, the people who made the most money were the people selling the tools. I'm like, you have the jack, the, the the pickaxes, the shovels, in the gold rush, Klondike gold rush of 1800s, 1900s, 19, no, 1800s, 19th century, 1800s. It was very much like the guy. So I was I was saying I was I was thinking about this and I went, yeah, it's kind of like if you sold. If you were doing mountain bike races, right? Down mountains, right? Because my friend does mountain bike racing, right? Or, I know a guy who does mountain bike racing. And and it would be like mountain bike racing, right? And the people may, and, and you can win money if you win races, right? Depending on what place you come in and depending if you win, like, first place and all that. But, um, it would be like saying the guy who sells the equipment, like the bike, the helmet, the water bottles, the, 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 the padding, the, sh the, 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 the clothing, whatever, right? makes more money than the guys racing. Like, that makes, like, makes sense. At least that's what I understand of all this. Again, Bitcoin is what I want to mine one day. Because Bitcoin is going for, 11, uh, is it 9000 or 11000 Something like that. Dollars right now. And it's crazy how, it's like, wow. Again, I also asked the guy, how much profit do you make? And he goes, well, that really depends on because the thing that people for, uh, people always miss when they're when they're mining is, it's not what you make. So let's say you make twelve Bitcoin a day, right? Right? It's great if Bitcoin is selling for or like it sold for at its peak seventeen thousand dollars, twenty five thousand dollars, twenty one thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars, forty five thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, right? Five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, right? Hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars. But if it's only going for thirteen dollars. You've only made, like, less than $13, because you only have 12 Bitcoin, let's say. But again, it depends on when you sell. So it's like buying a stock, and watching the stock go like this. You buy a stock in, let's say, Apple in 1980 for, like, 50 cents. And now it's going for, like, a million dollars, let's say. You made a million, you can make a million dollars off of it, if you kept it for this long. If it did this, and dipped, and went, oh, shucks, like, tanked. Then, yeah, what's the freaking point? But, but, I don't think it makes super much difference, really, what, because that's the thing he also said. It's like, what do you, it doesn't really make a difference what you mine, either. Like, I could mine Dogecoin right now, right? I could mine some Dogecoin, right? Some Dogecoin. It's 0.5 or something, 0 0.05 right now it's going for. It's, cra it's not even a dollar yet. It's crazy. But if it goes like this, and like starts spiking and going $10,000, I, I sell my one Dogecoin and made $10,000, right? And and the the stuff that I was looking at, the guy sent me a link to for mining Bitcoin, uh, mining Bitcoin was like 2000 3000 1800 I'm like, holy crow, what, how, wow, that's a lot. But then, it's not a lot if you buy one for $2,000 and mine three Bitcoin at $9,000, that's $27,000. You've just made all your money back. And more. You've made like $25,000 in profit. It's crazy. You're not going to be doing that. You're probably going to be getting like 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 or something. 0 0.02349x or 0.263. No. You're not making one Bitcoin. That's the thing. 
But yeah, he said it was around two hundred fifty dollars a um, a day or something, or was it a month? Something like that. That guy said that he he made so. No, a thousand dollars a year is pretty damn decent. Now don't get me wrong, a thousand dollars a year is not living, right? That's not to live off of. But I knew somebody. I met. Okay, I went to a toy convention in January, January twenty sixth, I think. And I met a guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I mined Bitcoin." Or just no, 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 no. I sold GPUs, graphics cards in twenty seventeen. Went at the peak for a couple of thousand dollars each, like five thousand dollars each or something. And he consistently sold these things because he bought them for like, let's say two thousand, and sold them for five thousand. He sold so many that he said he went around the world with all that money. He went around the entire world. He was like, "Yep." Yeah. You know, he went to Spain, Barcelona, he went to Rome, he went to Venice, he went to, 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 I think he went to South America, Brazil, I think he went to, like, um, maybe even Russia, uh, but, but, but he went to, I think, Italy, uh, uh, Germany, I think he went to, like, he went everywhere, I'm like, wow! And then you did this all, how? And he's like, well, I sold GPUs, and sold graphics cards, I sold them at, like, freaking ridiculous amounts of money, I'm like, huge big bucks, he made so much money, it was crazy. And then he did this! He spent it all in like a less than a year or something. It's crazy. At least in my opinion, I don't know if I would have done that. Now, if I could have gotten into it right when the peak was like starting to rise, and then I real I got it, and then sold them all once it was like huge. When Bitcoin were running at sixty, sorry, seventeen thousand dollars, I would made huge bucks. Could have sold them for five, ten thousand, and people still would have bought them all off me. He sold like. So he made a million of dollars, and he went like this. He like. So, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's very. Oh yeah, yeah, man. He must have like. And again, now Bitcoin, Bitcoin did a big tank. It went from seventeen thousand to like twelve thousand to nine thousand, or like seventeen thousand to fifteen thousand to twelve thousand to nine thousand. It's going to keep going. I think it's going to keep going down. I don't think Bitcoin is a coin to invest heavily in. But it's a coin that's still doing probably the most. So. Like, that's the crazy thing about it. It's like a video I watched of Austin Evans. Watch it. It's called uh, How Bitcoin wo or How Crypto Mining Works or something. Oh, cryptocurrency works or something. How mining works. Bitcoin mining or mining works. And basically, right, from what I saw from the video, from what I saw of the video, the video starts with it, the first line I think he says is, this PC is making me money right now. And I went, how? How is this PC making you money right now? And he just goes, um, I'm mining. Whatever. Mining. Mining cryptocurrency. And I went, oh. Because what was it, like, ten years ago? Ah, uh, the computer turned off. Well, the screen turned off. That's 25 minutes. It's so stupid how I went on a walk. The computer was still on when I got back. It just turned off now. The screen. Go figure. Anyway. Cryptocurrency. So he basically was like, yeah, making me money right now. Yeah, so like, what, 10 years ago? He explains the whole thing as the verified person is not the hash and the guessing thing. Anyway. Not the important point, but... Was it 10 years ago when they started, like, Bitcoin? 10 or 12 years ago when they started Bitcoin? And the guy had a hard drive worth of, like, when Bitcoin was, like sense, literal sense, and basically, and what happened was, that hard drive was had all this money in it, had, I think, the equivalent of one Bitcoin going for $10,000, so he had, like, 10 or 20 Bitcoin or something, 30 Bitcoin, he had, like, a couple of million, like, 20 million dollars in Bitcoin, it's in a landfill now somewhere, the first guy who started mining, or one of the first guys starting mining Bitcoin, his hard drive is now in a landfill somewhere, People actually literally went to that landfill and checked his landfill. He went to the landfill. And certain people went to the landfill to see if his stuff would, like, his, find his hard drive. Hell no. Not at all. Gone, gone, lost forever. I'm like, that would suck. That would just suck. He was buying pizzas with Bitcoin at that time. Look, I don't think Bitcoin's going to be a currency ever. I don't think any of this is going to be a currency the same way. Unless we get really stable, like, secure transactions that we know are secure and we can do this easily, like, here's a card, it's my Bitcoin wallet, it holds all my money, beep, 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 there you go, I've paid for Bitcoin, I paid for it through Bitcoin, or through Ethereum, or through Litecoin, or through Dogecoin, or through, through, Shat, Shatcoin, you know, through Bollocks coin. I don't know, 
through car coin, through 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 whatever, right? You know what I mean? Like, that's the only way. If you can have a physical, like, here's the credit card. That's the thing. Once it can be translated into real money some way, like, you can buy those fake Bitcoin, like, coins that are like this, and you can buy them and, like, oh, yeah, look at me. They're, I bought a Bitcoin, right? I, I, I saw a video of, uh, it's called what, uh, the channel of What's Inside, and they went to a actual store and tried to sell the guy, I think, two Bitcoin. They had real gold coins. But he, he, and, and the guy came back to him and said, yeah, a lot of people, it was a Chinese guy, the guy came back and said, yeah, a lot of people try and sell me Bitcoin. It's fake. Like, I can't give you any money for it. It's not real. And, because I'm sure a lot of people go, <gasps> what? It's not a Bitcoin? It's like, no, it's not a Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not real. Bitcoin's fake. Bitcoin will always be fake. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, Bitcoin will always be fake. Bitcoin will always be fake to me. To me, Bitcoin will always be fake. It'll never be a real currency because I don't think anybody is really ready to invest in this, like, cryptocurrency as being a real thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Maybe one day, maybe, maybe, maybe way later when I'm 80 in my lifetime, I'll see, like, I don't think in my lifetime, but maybe in my lifetime, late in my lifetime, we'll see, like, and here's a physical Bitcoin. Because also, if you want a good video on Bitcoin, it's like five or six years old now, but it's a, coin, a video by Test Aid. It's they bought a Bitcoin. They didn't even buy one Bitcoin. They bought $400 worth of Bitcoin. And they bought a taco. And the guy said, that's the most expensive taco I've ever bought. That's a $400 taco. And of course, they didn't spend $400, but they bought one thing. Because they looked at places and they went, what can I buy? In the San Francisco Bay Area. And they went, what can I buy with Bitcoin? And they went to, like, every food truck in the whole, like, area that they were in. And it was, like, I don't know, five or six. And, and the last one was, like, okay, we will accept Bitcoin. Because the other problem was, uh, they also put, brings this, this point up in, uh, in, uh, because I think, uh, Austin Evans has made a couple of videos on, uh, Bit on cryptocurrency. The problem with cryptocurrency is you can't buy much with cryptocurrency. I think what Steam was trying to get cryptocurrency, and I think, um, uh, Microsoft Store is trying to, like, accept the, the cryptocurrency as, like, a real currency. And I think the U.S. government is thinking of trying this with certain places. Kind of like, okay, can where can we accept Bitcoin, basically? Bitcoin's like a stock, though. It's no physical thing. You buy a piece of paper that says, here's your stock. Here's your 12th stock in, 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 in Samsung, let's say. Or Facebook, or Apple, or whatever, right? Or Google, right? Now, here there wasn't even a piece of paper. Anyway, that's beside the point, but Austin Evans made the uh, made the point the observation. He goes, he goes, he goes. There's not much you can buy with cryptocurrency right now. Then eventually you will. Eventually places will just literally allow you to just either scan the QR code or you know plop your wallet. Then yeah, you'll be able to buy stuff with cryptocurrency. But right now, cryptocurrency is not something I can go to. Walmart and buy something with. But that's... Or Target and buy something with. Or or Canadian Tire and buy something with it, right? Or, or you know, GameStop and buy a video game with it. No. But it's, it would be like going to um, Walmart and trying to buy something with a piece of gold. It's like, this is a 300 ounce... Like, $300 piece of gold and I'm going to buy TV with it, right? You Or like a $12 piece of gold and I'm going to buy a sandwich with it. Right? A club sandwich. Or Subway and buy a sandwich. You can't do that. I think there's a video on that, like, would you accept gold as a currency, as payment, for this? And of course, that's great, but it's not a federal, or, like, federal currency. It's not a, a federal bill. It's not a thing that says the government classifies this as currency that I can buy something with. No. Now, there's a difference there because if I handed somebody a bar of gold and said, I'm buying my house or my car with a bar of gold, like off, like, let's say, Kijiji or Craigslist. I think somebody would be like, I'll take that bar of gold. Gold's going for $30 an ounce or $750 an ounce I'll, or $1,200 an ounce. Holy sh... SHIT. I'll take that or silver or something, right? But you can't go to Walmart or Target or Canadian Tire and say, I will buy that TV with uh, a bar of gold. Here's a, here's a $300 piece of gold. I'll buy my TV with it. The other thing is, what does he do? Like, there's no way of being like, that's $353. Um, and if the TV is $400, what do I do? What do I, what do I give you in exchange, right? In change, right? Well, it's, 
it's like um okay, a place called Blue Nose in the Point Claire Plaza shopping center in Point Claire, Quebec. Basically, the only thing that he can sell without tax is I think ninety nine point seven percent pure silver. Or ninety nine point eight percent pure silver. Almost pure silver is the only thing he can sell without tax. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Anyway. That's cryptocurrency as far as I know. Watch these videos. Um, Austin Evans did a video on it. Uh, how cryptocurrency works. Oh, oh, Linus Tech Tips did a video. A couple of videos actually. Like a lot of videos actually. Like four or five. How to mine uh, Bitcoin. Um, what are, who are the videos over there? There's a lot of other videos. There's a couple of other videos. Like how cryptocurrency works. And like all that. Oh yeah. Tested. Uh, buying one Bitcoin. Like, you're not going to buy one Bitcoin. Oh, 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 oh. TechSmart, uh, Keaton from TechSmart bought one Bitcoin from somebody who well, he did a private buy, uh, buying from a private guy and he sold it, bought it and he, it was, it was I think at the time it was $19,000 or seventeen ninety nine, dollars something like that, around there. Almost $18,000. So. And he bought one, just so he could say he bought one. And I think he went back to his bank and, like, got... I, I love the... Or, or, I, I like the part where he just goes to his bank and, here's $17,000 in cash. Like, what? Just, here you go. And he gives it to him, like, the guy, here, here, here. He sends the, the Bitcoin, he buys one Bitcoin and just, like... And again, though, those are the people who bought Bitcoin way at the beginning. Like, when they were pennies, pennies on the dollar, you know? Now, don't be wrong. Bitcoin is great, but or the, a, a coin to, to do. But I don't think it's a coin you should be doing right now if you want to make huge, 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 huge bucks. Because they need an external piece of hardware, and it's you know it's not super profitable. If you can mine three Ethereum and 0.7 Bitcoin, 0.07 Bitcoin is not exactly worth necessarily worth it. I don't know. But yeah, he bought one, and then he just was like, I think he immediately went back on Coinbank and Coinbase and sold it back. You know, he just wanted to say I owned a Bitcoin, cause that'd be great to own. Cause okay, I thought about this too. Once I once I got into all this like mining and cryptocurrency stuff, I went, it's one of the most futuristic things you will ever do or ever even experience ever. It's the most twenty first century thing ever because it's like it's not physical money. It's just some a bug in my room now. Non-physical thing that is worth money. Because at least with stocks, stocks have been around for like thousands of, not thousands, hundreds of years, like 150 or 200 years, like crazy long time. Because there were companies that went public and went, okay, I'll, you know, they're public, I'll just be like, you know, and then you could buy a piece of them. The public is trading and then they, whatever and whatever. Now, the, the thing with that is, it's a little easier to explain stocks to someone. You could be like, supply, demand, um, what the, how well the company's doing, so on and so forth. But, really, in retrospect, they're not much different. A stock and, and a cryptocurrency is not much different. It's a thing that doesn't exist that... Is, is, is told on based on the market. And the market is going well, so therefore we're going to go really well. Like, the market's not doing great now, but it's bouncing back. So, cryptocurrency is one of the only things you can do right now that is guaranteed money because there's nobody telling you, like, oh, well, the government or the, the economy is doing absolute crap. Your cryptocurrency will do nothing. No, but your stock will do bad. Your stock will do no, not great. Your oil stock will do horrible. You can buy oil or gas right now for less than a dollar. Is it a dollar a gallon? No. Gallon? Well, here it goes by nine. Like, we'll go like 103.9, 104.9. We're not doing it by gallon, I don't think. Anyway, you can buy gas for very cheap right now. Anywhere. Anywhere. So, for me, so like if you had stock in an oil company, What's the point? You are, or it's not doing well now. But cryptocurrency will always do decently because cryptocurrency is not based off of like, oh, the market, oh, the 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 the, the economy is doing crap. Therefore, 
your cryptocurrency is going to do crap. No, no, sorry. It's there's nothing like that. Because they don't have a, a, a Nasdaq, which is which I think it's called the Nasdaq. Is that the one? I think so. Don't quote me on that. But it's the one where this is the average of all stocks being sold right now. It's twenty seven thousand dollars or something, let's say. And that's the average of all stocks that are being sold. There's nothing of that. If if Litecoin is going for thirteen dollars a coin, it's going for uh, three hundred and twenty something, twenty five around there. Like uh, Ethereum is going for that much, then Ethereum will go for that much. There's no like, oh well, based on the market, based on, no no, it'll it might crash, it might go up, but it's not going to change based on anything else. So that's what I've learned in about a week, in about a week. Cause I looked at this like three years ago, just just because I knew that it was a big thing. So for me, it was like, oh yeah, it's a big thing. Now can we? Can we? Uh, can we capitalize on this? And it's like, but again, it depends on how much your computer. Like my friend is running ninety dollars a year to run his computer, just wattage wise. Like, oh, this is taking up this much wattage, right? Like, how much power do you think? Just for the electricity, which is fine. But like, I'm not sure because. Doesn't like mine gives me a little section for how much it's, it's running, but it doesn't tell me how much it's running. I don't know why. I think my computer is not optimized to mine Bitcoin. I don't think my CPU is optimized to run Bitcoin. But yes, it can. Or not Bitcoin to, to mine cryptocurrency. I mean, it can. So, I mean, anyway, what were they saying? Yeah. So, in my opinion. You have to take it with this. If you can somehow... Like, he wants to try and do it on his at his work so he can, like, get it free. Which I think is stupid because eventually they're going to say, stop stealing our, our, our electricity, right? But anyway. He wants to get a job. My friend wants to get a job. And he wants to get... Like, basically take their, their electricity so he pays nothing, right? Which is... I, I get why he wants to do that. Like, but I think eventually they'd be like... You'd get a... A stern letter from the IT department going, "Stop stealing our wife! Uh, stop stealing! Stop stealing our, 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 uh, our electricity and our Wi-Fi! Stop right now! Pay for it or get out, or not even pay for it, just get out! You know, go home. Because you know? I don't think they would let him do that forever. I'm not saying he can, couldn't get away with it for a while, but because yeah. you have to take it, look at it at how much does it? Because he said that in the Austin Evans video, they were like, how much electricity uh, is it using? And are you making more money than the electricity it's it's taking in? Like, are you paying... Is it making more money than you're paying for electricity? In which case, you're making profit. It's like... That's like all the videos I see of, like, people trying to win something at, like, a claw machine or a... Or, like, an arcade machine. Like, the, the prize ones where it's, like, oh, it's a shoe or something. If you know the value... Because you can buy a shoe and then you basically get mailed another shoe. If you, like, fill, fill out the information. And basically what I've figured from that is, what they've said from that is too, from that too is, if, if you know the price of the shoe, let's say it's $350 for like a Yeezy, right? And you bought, and you win the one Yeezy. As long as you spend four, oh, $349.99, you're in the black. You've made a cent. Like, let's just say. Or a pair of like Beats going for $150. As long as you spend $149.99, you're making a profit. Not saying that that's like the most profitable thing to do. And again, this is not something you do to make money, right? Never. You're not doing this to make money. It's like coin pushers, right? If you don't know what a coin pusher is, it's basically a machine that has like a tray on it that goes back and forth like this. And then there's coins here and there's coins on it. And basically, it goes like this. And then you drop a coin down and it goes like this. And it pushes the coin over and then it can push the coin over. Basically, my opinion, and a lot of arcade people who run arcades, in some way, go. If, like, they're not there to make money. Like, you're not gonna go quit your job and 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 play coin pushers. You know, it's like it's like quitting your job and 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 gambling. What are you stupid? Unless you're going to poker or blackjack and you're gonna do this professionally and you're gonna do this like wholeheartedly. Don't you're not going to go to, going to quit your job, move to Vegas and 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 sit on sit at the penny slots, winning money all day long, like. Pfft. Like pull the pull the lever, cha ching, brrr, spitting out you know millions of dollars every time, cha ching, brrr, 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 cha ching, brrr, brrr, brrr. you know it's not that, that thing. Now don't get me wrong, you could probably do that and win yeah, decent amounts of money because the only casino I've ever been to 
was in Aquasosne, was it was in um, Kanawake, was in Kanatake, Kanawake, 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 Kanatake, whatever it's called. The one where the wet, uh, the people were protesting for the Wet'suwet'ens in Quebec, they were like, okay, if this, okay, if this um, uh, virus did not happen, we, our country would have been shut down just solely because they were protesting on the train tracks where we get propane and food. Food and propane through the trains. We would have gone hungry and we would have... A lot of people would have died just based on solely them saying, No! We must, and the Wet'suwet'ens are basically, they want to build a pipeline in Alberta, or sorry, BC, British Columbia, and the Wet'suwet'ens are on, it's on their land, and they say, just we route it somewhere else, and they're like, well, we can't we route it somewhere else, we gotta go through here. And so they're like, well, if you can't reroute it somewhere else, then, then frigate, we'll just do this until... No, of course not. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, so basically it's like, well, we can't do that. They're like, well, we're protesting until you stop, until you figure out a different way of doing it. It's like, and so they would have stopped it, and we would have, like, starved to death, basically. And froze to death. And, you know, no propane. Anyway, this was starting in January, so... Fun, fun. Fun, 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 huh? Fun, fun, fun. Good lord. <laughs> if the virus... The virus happened? We've heard not a word since March 11th. We have heard not a word of the Wet'suwet'en protests. Of the protests for the Wet'suwet'en tribes. There. None. Not a single solitary word since that day. None. Now, I've heard a little bit where it's like, that's a lie, because I've heard a little bit where it's like, okay, they're going to try and come, and they're going to try and, and, and resolve this in their longhouses, and they're going to have, like, the the people that they, they basically, the, the, the government gives them, they give them, like, a representative, and then the tribes have a representative, and then the government can actually come there and say, okay, the, the mayor or the whatever can come and say, because the mayor of Shattagay can come and say, okay, we're going to actually sit down in a longhouse and discuss this. Get out of here. Stop. Anyway. That's what I've been, it's like them. Yeah, so... Well, how did I get to that? I don't know. I don't know how I got to that, but anyway. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And that's about what I'll do for a while now. Again, I can run, let this run, get some money, and then just pay the electricity of my parents right now. And then I'll just, there you go, and I'll make lots of money, right? Not that it's a lot of money, but it's enough money to probably... Right now, with no job and being a student, it's money to live off of, you know? It's extra money to live off of. My parents are very nice since they let me live here until I get a steady income. And then I move out. So, yeah, for me, I'm going to do this until I get... And again, I don't know, maybe you could just, like, let it accumulate and then withdraw, like, $1,000 or $10,000 or something. I don't know. Because I haven't figured out how to withdraw it yet, so... But, yeah. Yeah, so that's all what I've done so far. And, uh, yeah, so that's... I'll keep you guys posted on what I make and what I do and what if I go upgrade and stuff, so... And that PC is not just for that, it's for uh, vi uh, video games, like gaming and video editing, so. I think that'll be it for now, guys. Um, if you want stuff, again, l uh, just links in the description for, if you want to contact me, it's uh, tacoimposters at gmail.com. There's a Discord and a, pa and, a, and a Patreon. Please support me on Patreon. I just bought a $500 PC for you guys, for you people, for you people. For you YouTube viewer subscription subscriber people, please, 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 please help financially if you can. If you can, again, if you can, I'm not forcing you to do so, but if you can, please help. If you can't, what you gonna do? I'm mining, I'm mining a cryptocurrency. I'll get some money out of that. So, but as far as I know, I need some money still in that. I didn't even get to the point of playing, I got a hard drive for my PS3 so I could play, uh, no, I think I could play uh, Grand Theft Auto. Now, Grand Theft Auto's fine. I don't hate Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't love it. It's really overrated, but yeah. Anyway, I could talk about that for the next podcast. I also got a whole bunch of DVDs from my mom's friend, who basically said to my mom, get rid of these DVDs. You want to sell them? You can sell them. I'm like, and she's like, you make $5,000. And I went, yeah, you can, if you have the next 10 years of your life. That's a whole other story about DVDs and physical media and uh, watch uh, 
not for resale on Vimeo or buy it on Pat Punk dot com or something or Pat Country or something. I don't know. Look up Pat Google Pat Country and you'll find it. But yeah. I think that'll be it for now, guys. Wanna contact me, those are the places. Uh I think that'll be it for now, guys. So adios, mi amigos.